last season will remain with them for 2022, also competing in a trial two this summer. Single mark for leaning on the uh, initial step there for Sondre Hager. Remember, this section was failed by Teo Colorado. So if Hager can get through this step, that will already give him an early provisional advantage over Teo Colorado. Of course, uh, Hager will want to have one eye, particularly on Toby Martin still to come. Obviously, that's the battle in the opening round. Hager's up. He's going to take a mark for leaning. Now, if he keeps his uh, foot on the footrest there and urges the bike forward without hitting the sump again, it will remain just the one mark for leaning. So it's two in total, of course, including one from the, uh, from the first step there. Struggling to bridge, he slipped backwards. He's had to take a, a mark for the right foot. I think he was lucky to avoid a mark for leaning as well there. And he scrabbled his way through section one. So we'll be watching back on the replay just how he did that. Now into section two. Now it's important for Hager that he cleans this one. If he does, he is guaranteed not to finish in last position. It will be a, a step forward for him, of course. Sondre Hager having struggled as a wildcard in his past appearances. Same color clean in this one. He was on five marks after the opening two seconds. Hager at the moment is on just three. Having made it successfully through section one. Just these two eight frames now. For Sondre Hager to make his way out of the section, he's done so clean. And on six marks, Marseille at this stage was on ten. Nice point. Section three reached by Hager. A moment of near silence descends here in the Colosseum while Hager makes his descent and he does so successfully to great applause. Two more islands to go. Rock, Gabians, pages of, of rocks here for Sandre Hager and he's through in section three. Better result in this second round. Single drop mark for Sondre Hager. That means he's on the same score now as Busto. So any further drop marks, and Hager will drop behind Busto into sixth position. It's been a valiant effort from him nonetheless. Seventh at Extra Nice, his uh, previous best appearance in three Extra World Championship appearances. Through to the second round for the first time in his career. Uh, one failed section more than Toby Martin that gets him a place in the final six. Yes. A last time out. 30 seconds to go here for Sondre Hager in what's been the biggest performance of his extra world championship career to date. And he's through in section five. Hager is up and into section two. Decision now required. High-scoring first run thus far. Demonstrating the difficulty level of these sections, as I suggested, would be the case. Hager is up. It's a little bit short, but the, uh, the weight carries him forward, and he remains in the section. Almost dropped off the edge of the A-frame there, and uh, could have been dissolved. Just brings it back. Sondre Hager looking good to exit section number two with just a single mark. It was not lost just yet for Sondre Hager. He got out of the uh, first round of competition for the first time last time out. That's going to be a mark for leaning, and it's an awkward mark for leaning. And if he twists awkwardly here, he could fall backwards out of the section. But he's managed to just about stay in and continue to press on. Single mark for Lini. Mikel Gelabert was clean through here, so Hager... Oh, great work there from Sondre Hager, rushing through. Others took a more measured approach. This will leave Sondre Hager on 17 marks from five sections. If he gets through section six, he will go through to the second round. Here at the Plaza San Jordi. He started off very strong indeed. You can hear fans. You can see those blue and yellow stickers there. 
on the obstacles. Those are the obstacles that the rider must touch with the tyres. Well, he's getting through this section well, but very little time remains, and he does make it. Very good start by the Norwegian. He takes a point there for resting the base plate of his bike on that tombstone looking obstacle there in the middle. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. He has to jump from this cylinder onto the next tombstone, which is more upright and more difficult to not hit the base plate on. It means that the uh, rider has to make a jump and land in a wheelie position, just like that. Expertly done by Sonre Hagar. Sonre Hagar is very much the upcoming hero. How is he going to fare through section four? So far, so good. Nicely done over the gap. Now this is where things get a little tricky because you've got to come off this cylinder and then tee yourself up in almost a 90 degree twist to get over the top of that skip. That's a foot down. That's all right, you can use that now to work his angle. 1.3 sector four, that's two in total. For the Norwe Sorry, three in total for the Norwegian. Picked up a point. Coming through sector three.